relatively quick check-in so far. Um, I'll do a little pan in a sec so we can see what's going on, but basically the security is a bit blocked, so we are waiting to be called and then we will go through. So we uh, originally had an inside room, but we did a bid for um, an upgrade and we got, amazingly, somehow a superior balcony. So as you come in, we have a nice little bathroom. Uh, we've got an actual bath, which seems mad. Uh, shower, we've got, some, we've got storage spaces. There's me. It's a little bit old, but perfect for what we need it for, for a few days. Then we have this wonderful big bed. And opposite, the telly on the wall, which is fab. Also, which very different from my owner, huge wardrobe space. Already started to unpack. And then we have this nice little lounge area. So sofa, tea, coffee, and a Horizon magazine with info as well. Also, we thought we might be given set dining because we bought a save affair, but we have got given freedom dining. So that is fab. Hello. And here, this is a big balcony. Here we are in Southampton. Grey. Nice grey Southampton. So, right at the back of the ship, literally where our cabin is, there's George, is, well, the back of the ship. Um, not the nicest weather at the moment in Southampton, but stunning ship. Hot tubs and pool. window seat and we are on drink number three ready for sail away. crow's nest for two hours. Two hours and we're now having passion fruit martinis uh, as we sail out of Southampton. are taking a little stroll around the promenade deck before we get ready for dinner. We've got a piano teddy bear and a piano ship that George is very keen to get. Uh, we couldn't get any piano lanyards, uh, <laughs> but life goes on. Um, so yeah, we are just having a full lap to burn off some of the alcohol we've had. And then we're gonna get ready for Sindhu, 
Um, and have, yes, we're going to the glass house first to have a wine flight. So we will see you shortly. and off to the glass house to get the wine flights. Why Ew, you don't like this. <laughs> wine. flights and I've gone for a red wine flight. I don't even drink red wine and George has gone for a white wine. I do drink red wine. <laughs> and we've just been told the order that we should drink them in so I need to start here and you need to start when do you need to start? Here. Here? So we are gonna and here and all of it. So we're gonna have all of this. Beers. And to start, you get some poppadoms each and some chutneys. I can't remember what they are, but I think that one's aubergine and that one's mango. Are you enjoying them? Yeah? <laughs> We're enjoying them. We've got our starters. What is what? So I think we've got some chicken, some la uh, prawns, and some lamb with some mint sauce. And these are our starters. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're used to it. I would. Oh. You know, I'm always on time. I'm always on time. Yeah, nice so far. Thumbs up from George. So, our mains have arrived and we went for the signature, which is chicken, lamb, and prawn. I think it's chicken, lamb, prawn. And then you get lentils. Is that dal? Yes. Rice and naan. And this. Are you excited? So we just went to the theatre and we watched the fly rice. Um, I thought we were watching Great Estates, but it was a lovely show. It was your with, mistake. Anyway. It was my mistake. With Motown music and old hits. Um, lots of dancing, and lots of singing. And now we're, we're on the way back to the cabin. So that's us for day one. Good morning. Um, we have uh, had our breakfast today. It's day two of the Aurora P&O cruise to Amsterdam. Uh, we've just been to breakfast at the buffet and it was heaving, but really, really, really lovely food. I think the clocks went forward last night. So uh, I think a lot of people went to the buffet to get some extra sleep because the buffet is open longer than the main dining room uh, for breakfast, which is always good to know. Um, Staff really, really friendly and so much good food. Absolutely stuffed. Um, nice and calm weather. You probably can't really see it, but it's a lovely calm day here. Uh, we're somewhere between England and France still. And we are now off to use a hot tub because we thought this might be a good time where there's not that many people out. Most people are slip breakfast. So yeah, we're here to grab a hot tub and then we're gonna see what the day holds. So see you soon. Also, we've just left our room. So I've just left the room. Um, and this is how close it is to the swimming pool. So we're right at the back of the ship aft. Um, and there's these little doors. Morning. Morning. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, I might just take some stuff off the bed. Oh, that lovely the steward came to the room as we were leaving. Um, but yeah, same walk. Found these little doors. Literally. At the back of the ship and at the hot tubs. 
So I can see George down there and I'm about to go for a swim. <laughs> but we managed to find a table in the main area. So yeah, we're going to try out coffee and cake. Our coffee and cake have just arrived. George has got the cheesecake and I've got the carrot cake and it's still very busy here at uh, Raffles. Riviera Bar, um, and we are here. We have been chilling in our room for like an hour and a half, just on the balcony, and just chilling. Now um, it's not raining; it was raining earlier, so we are outside, enjoying uh, being just outside and chilling. Um, before we get ready for tonight, it's celebration gala night, so we full. Uh, suits and stuff, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, we're just getting some beach, beach side snacks, um, outside snacks, and chilling. And we'll get a drink, because why not? Here he comes, here he comes. What's he got? Here he comes. I want an ice cream. What have you got to start with? Burgers and chips. Lovely. The weather is stunning, the sea is so calm, you wouldn't even know if you're moving. getting ready for celebration night. We are going past a wind farm and I don't feel like this does it justice, but it's so pretty. There are red lights just all across where we can see. Um, yeah, and I just thought it looked really pretty and something that we don't see every day. I don't know if this does it justice, but I thought I would try and take a little video. We are suited and booted. George is just there. And we are ready to go for a drink. It's almost six, which is when the official dress code changes. So we are going to go to Anderson's, hopefully, uh, for some gin. and we've got the gin flights um, 
I've got the partnership, which is like a traditional gym flight. I don't know what they all are, but they look fab. Um, and George has gone for the afternoon tea. I think there's like a lemon one, a strawberry one, and something else. So yeah, we're excited. Anderson's is very nice and very festive. Um, so we're excited to have this before dinner. Cheers.9am and we are venturing into Amsterdam. We have had breakfast at the buffet which was really quiet um, and yeah now we're making our way we're gonna just walk through Amsterdam. Let's go with the flow. I've just had a fab time at the uh, Heineken experience. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. We would recommend. We would recommend. It took uh, almost two hours, um, but someone gave us their drinks token. So we've had a few Heinekens. We feel a little bit tiddly. Um, so we are on our way to find a canal cruise that we can just hop on and explore some more of Amsterdam. We have found a nice little river cruise. Uh, we had a little walk through Amsterdam and we're just waiting for it to leave. Um, yeah, struggled to find one quickly, but we have found a nice one that hopefully we can see lots of sights and have a nice time. And
we have just done an hour's uh, canal cruise, which was lovely. Um, really, really good. Uh, would definitely recommend. And we are just on our way to uh, the city centre and Dam Square uh, to grab a bite to eat and just have a little explore, aren't we? Yes, we are. Woo! First of all, there's a dog. Second of all, the dog is outside. A shop entirely devoted to rubber ducks. This, this, I mean, President Obama. This is just incredible. So we are gonna go and have a look in this duck shop, which I think George is already in. Hello, baby. George, are you having a quacking time? saw on someone's YouTube video, I'll put it link somewhere, or their name, um, <laughs> um, but they look incredible and I'll show you what they look like when we get them. Oh my gosh, so I've got this huge chip cone with barbecue, I don't know if you can see, barbecue sauce, cheese sauce and loads of uh, herbs and spices and George has gone for a, I think curry sauce, I'll uh, try and get a picture of this in a sec, I'll be here. What's yours? Chili. Oh, that looks so good. Sweet chili. Sweet chili. nice stroll through Amsterdam and we are coming back to the ship it's about half three four o'clock um, but we left really early uh, so we're very tired and could do with getting warm because it's quite cold so we are on our way back and I can see the ship so yeah not long absolutely nothing uh, but now we are on our way to the glass house do have a drink and tonight we've got dinner at the beach house Just come back from a fantastic dinner at the beach house honestly it was 10 out of 10 would recommend um yeah we've had three fantastic dinners so far uh, and all the food has been incredible um so now we are gonna go for a little walk around the ship apparently there is somewhere that you can stand at the front of the ship and get a really good view but it's only open when the ship is docked so we'll see if we can find it um and then we're gonna go and see a comedian tonight in the main theater um, it's one degree here in Amsterdam. Uh, I know there's quite a lot of people from the ship um, that are exploring Amsterdam, but we've racked up like 17,000 steps, so we are ready to stay in the warm and have some drinks and I see the comedian. No idea where this bloody deck is. We have walked up and down, and I think we finally found it. <laughs>
it's like 9, 10 in the morning, so we are going for a swim. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's like blue skies, so hopefully it's not too cold. in the hot tub at the back of the ship and it was so lovely I mean the sea is very calm there's blue skies it's just been absolutely wonderful so relaxing I found this ship very very relaxing and it's been yeah, really now nice just get ready to have a little explore of the ship um, we might go to Charlie's and get a coffee or we might see what's on have a look in the horizon and yeah just go with the flow As we're on a Christmas cruise, uh, they have put on a panto in Carmen's, so it's very full. Uh, we're, we got here just after one o'clock and there were queues, but we got some good seats and yeah, we're excited to see the panto. We've just finished watching the panto at Carmen's, which was really, really good fun. Um, it was full as well. We got there at one, um, and it started at half one, but it was queues when we got there, and it stood up. It was, re it was really good fun. Uh, but we were really hungry, and we really wanted to try the glass house before we leave, so we just got a little table for the glass house, and we just ordered it. Uh, and we're very excited to try the food, because it looks amazing. <laughs>
I really love Aurora. Um, I think it's a fantastic ship and very easy to get around. Also, the cabin stewards are absolutely incredible. Our cabin steward is so lovely and uh, she always chats to us and our room is always perfect. Um, so yeah, a big shout out to the wonderful crew because they work so hard and we've had such a flawless experience. The food, the entertainment has been amazing. just had our last dinner which was really really lovely and we're now uh, on deck 12 just having a little fresh air um, we were gonna go to watch some live music absolutely shattered and we have to disembark self disembarkation is from 7 15 um, and we want breakfast before so we are gonna get an early night and finish packing um, but we've had a wonderful cruise and we can't wait for the next one mm -hmm.